last night we were actually watching um, the Avengers Infinity War and sadly when we finished the movie and I was heading up to bed and I checked my phone uh, I started seeing all the posts um, that said that Stan Lee had died. Stan Lee isn't somebody that I think like anybody really thinks about all the time but he's actually starred in more superhero movies than any superhero and that is because Stan Lee has pretty much made an appearance if I understand correctly and, and I will check my facts but he stars in every single one of his superhero movies which I think is just incredible and such a great little way to leave your mark it's like as a creative you know I was always taught that you must sign your paintings and uh I think that that's just Stan Lee's little signature on everything is to go, wait a minute, he had a little cameo in every single movie that was ever made. Hey, I need you to cause a distraction. Holy shit. We're all gonna die! There's a spaceship! Matter with you kids, you've never seen a spaceship before. Particularly, where I got to see Stan Lee a few times is actually on Comic Book Men. Comic Book Men is Kevin Smith's um, series that he has his friends who are in a comic book store and they talk about all sorts of superheroes and comics and memorabilia from all these eras and, and it's a fantastic series that, that I love and I must actually check if there's a new one but yeah they used to have a guest appearance by Stan once in a while um, in the comic book store which I mean how great is that? You know I wrote the Fantastic Four, the X-Men, Spider-Man, the Hulk just about all of the superhero stories in the beginning on one little typewriter I had. My friends and I joke about being, you know, we're gonna live till we're like 160 uh, with the way technology is changing and, and healthcare is changing. Who knows? Stan Lee, 95, incredible. Um, gonna be missed and I hope that they pay him the respect he deserves. I'm hoping there'll be a Stan Lee movie. Uh, rest in peace, Stan Lee. diary this morning and did I find them uh, this is from one of our suppliers ISO flow this is from uh, Facebook this I think John gave me which says wisdom with magic uh, I think if I'm not mistaken yep this is an old Ogilvy book um, and I've got Tons more of these books here, everything from Pixel up to some of the Muji books I bought in New York. Um, but yeah, not short of diaries. Definitely need to start journaling a lot more. Got a lot on my mind. I'm very determined to change my financial reality. I'm very determined to live the life that I want to live. And one of the most sure ways I know of dealing with this and dealing with everything is to write things down and, and 
I've mentioned it before in a previous post and I'll say it again that you should be journaling every day and just get it out of your head onto the paper. up a new macbook pro uh, i've been trying to edit on the pc but it's just too slow i could get a new pc but i think the mobility of a macbook will suit me better right now Mojave, Mojave. Anyway, didn't have the operating system, so I gotta download that, which means I need the power supply straight away because it looks like it only comes with about 50% battery life when you get it um, and no operating system. So, um, yeah, busy doing the installation of that. Doesn't look like it's gonna to take too long. Um, but yeah, decided to set this new puppy up. So, my software stack is usually. I have Chrome as my browser. I use Sketch generally for UI, Adobe CC for Premiere, After Effects, Photoshop, Illustrator, etc. Um, I use Coda as my uh, FTP client. Probably get Outlook again. Um, so that's Office. And then I keep it quite minimal. I don't like to have too much on my Mac. I'm going to be removing this PC and setting up my uh, 5K monitor and my new MacBook Pro. to wireless, I don't have to use the aux cable anymore, which is cool, and yeah, I can now put my Kong up over my webcam on my monitor, which is how I normally have it set up. There's definitely a few things that you take for granted with um, between a PC and a Mac and, and one of those things is how uh, simple it is to connect Bluetooth devices and Wi-Fi and things like that. Everything's just so easy with a Mac. The PC, the problem I was having was that I needed all these different adapters and Wi-Fi. 
dongles or whatever they're called. Sounds very inappropriate. But yeah, they're, they're all these like Wi-Fi dongles and things like that, they just um, seem to make things really difficult every time there's a problem. And the PC, for whatever reason, up here, just had a terrible, terrible signal and kept connecting and deconnecting all the time. There's simple things as well, other things that are thing is going from your iPhone to your computer, you can't actually do anything over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, which is a bit of a problem. You've got to use cables and truthfully I was struggling to get videos of my phone and my iPad onto the Windows machine. The other things I like is that I don't have nearly as many cables lying around. I've just got this single power cable and then a USB-C cable that runs into my MacBook, which also powers my MacBook, which is really convenient. And then the other thing is I no longer have that hum in the background because I don't have all the fans screaming at me, which the PC had. So it's quite refreshing to uh, be back to the silence, which would make it way easier to edit audio and to record while I'm here. Yeah, so today took things definitely took longer than expected. I mean, I've only really gotten set up now. That's why I'm going to set up my office now at night time, and uh, I'm able to now get on and maybe start editing this vlog on this new Mac. And hopefully, it's lightning fast and uh, worth every penny. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. And stay cool. I also got my beautiful uh, Space Gray um, Magic Mouse, which I got in London.